Okay, viewers, you're welcome to another edition of The Now Show. Your show of self-discovery, your journey to becoming the better version of you that God has created. On today's episode, we're going to be dealing with the topic, building your war chest savings. Your war chest? Yes. Because we know that you're going to have financial battles and you need to have souls. And one of the souls to fight is savings. And who better to join us on this episode but my very dear sister, a very dear, dear, dear auntie of mine. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> Miss Nana Naudu. Auntie Nana, you're welcome to the Now Show. Thank you so much. Love you, sister. It's good Thank to you. have you here. I love you so much too, Auntie Nana. It's an honor um, to be here. Auntie Nana is the Managing Director of ALM Trustees. So she's going to tell us what ALM Trustees, what they do. But I do know that there's no better person to take us through this journey of building our war chest on savings. Auntie Nana. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to be on the Now Show. Um, and I thank God for Sister Bossy and the crew. Cool. They're doing an excellent job. Thank you. I don't miss the now show. <laughs> I don't get my name on Saturday. You just I'm call me and you're like, and call her what's, and going what's going on? Yeah, I know. I know. So, um, it's really an honor and a privilege, Sister Bossy. Thank Bosse. you for the kind and, words, um, for the encouragement. You, you actually give us a boost on this show and that's the truth. So I'm not saying it because you're here. I, I always say that and uh, thank you so much. So let's go back to the topic of today right. before because if I'm talking about who you are and what you are to us, I've been spent the whole day talking about that. But so savings, Atidana, a lot of people don't have the savings culture and it's important. That's why we call it building your watches. So tell us what are savings because some people don't even know what savings are. What we call to okay. discuss why it's important to have to yeah. You have to have savings. So you're earning a salary, you shouldn't spend all of it. Mm. When we were growing up, you know, our parents would say, Ma for what Mary Wajan. Mm. Mm. So if we speak to Christians, it's relatively simple. Okay. You earn an income and you're taught to pay tithes. If you're a good Christian, you're paying tithes. Mm -hmm. So there's a portion of your income that belongs to God. There's a portion of your income that belongs to you, the okay. person who worked. Okay. Okay. So, so that portion that so that portion that belongs to you is okay. what I will qualify as your savings. Okay. So the part that you spend, what's that? Um. So we can group that. The okay. parts that you spend, I will put a group and say living expenses. Okay. And that includes um. How you your feeding, your clothing, you know, you name it. Okay. There's living expenses. School fees would be part of living expenses. Okay. Then there's rent. Okay. So in all of that, um, you would have removed your savings. Okay. So savings is that part that you put away. Is that part that you put away? Okay. I mean, I don't want to say to you it's the excess income because most people will say to me. You know, I no don't. One, no one gets no an one excess. Gets excess. No one gets an my, excess. My no. needs are more than I earn. I know. We all could do yes, with more yes, money. Yes, yes, that's true. But you know the truth, and the Bible speaks mm. to it. It's about discipline. Okay. So everything in the Bible about discipline and putting the flesh to say you yes. must be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cannot say if you're not disciplined. So how do I know? What do I do? I I had um. I was following someone on Instagram okay. and one young lady said, all I can say is 500 Naira Niki. I was led to respond to her and I said, go ahead, save that 500 Naira. And I just want you to know it's not about having a lot of money, it's a okay. habit. It's a and habit. A habit is something you must do on a, a consistent, consistent basis. Mm. That's where the discipline comes in. So I said to her, save your 500 Naira every month, after 10 months. You would have saved 5,000 Naira. Mm, that's true. And she said, where should I put it? I said, put it in your savings account. Okay. After 10 months, when you have 5,000 Naira, there's something called FGN savings bond. The minimum subscription is 5,000. Mm. You lock it in for two years, put it there. It's 11.3, I think is the last option really? for a three-year FGN savings bond. Okay. 
they pay coupon quarterly. What is coupon? The interest you earn. So let's break it down. Wow. So if all you can do is 500, now I just want you to imagine if everybody makes an effort hmm. Hmm. to save as little as 500 naira, we will be able to get a lot of people out of poverty. Wow. You wow. cannot wow. afford to be spending all that you make. You know, it's interesting that you say this because you've opened my eyes to something. So I can, if I have some money, I can lock up for about three years. Yes. And quarterly, I'm going to be getting interest or income or something which I can spend within those three month period without touching my money. Is that what you're saying? You won't even have the money to touch because it's locked okay. away. For if you buy a three year bond, it's there yes. for three years. Yes, yes. So they pay you the interest every 90 days. So every that quarter. interest comes to me. It comes and to like you. I spend. You would have put your account details there. Okay, okay. But I don't encourage you to spend. <laughs> okay, so yes. Let me bring. So you. that becomes further savings. All right. Okay. So treat it the way she was treating her 500 naira. Mm -hmm. Take that coupon and put it back in that savings account. Okay. When it gets to another 5,000 plus the 500 that you should keep on saving, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have another 5,000. Okay. Ship that off again. Yes. And keep doing that mm -hmm. before you know it. It has become... It has become a yes, lot of money. a lot of money. And we run calculations so I can give you examples before this show runs out. Okay. 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 You know, what will okay. my 5,000 Naira become if I actually could find an investment at a certain rate? So 5,000 is truly not small money. It's not small money. Because it's not small you know how it is. A lot of people just think five what is five thousand naira. Oh no, they no, can no. throw it away. Oh no, 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 no. I, I. So for every five thousand, that's some investment. That's some savings that can become a huge investment for you. Yes. What you're saying? Yes. So mm. I, I again, this is a calculation. So you run your calculator and you get the same answers as mm. I'm getting. Mm. So let's use the FGN bond rate of okay, eleven point three percent. That's the August auction, mm. and they do a monthly auction, by the way. Okay. Um. So if I could find my five thousand naira, no more. So yes. I said to you earlier, don't spend the coupon. You know, keep saving your five hundred. Mm -hmm. My five thousand naira. If I continue to earn eleven point three percent where that coupon, instead of paying me, add it to my principal. Yes. So yes. every 90 days, add the interest I earned for the last three months yes. to my original 5,000 and reinvest it for me at the same rate. After three years, if I told you it was 70,000 Naira, would you believe me? No. It's are called you, you magic called compounding. Wow. Quarterly compounding. So I start off with no. 5,000. I'm changing my lifestyle immediately. Oh yes, 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 yes. And I hope others are going to join me to change their lifestyle immediately. Okay, let me make it because sweeter. Let me, let me make it sweeter. Let yes. me make it sweeter. I have a wonderful colleague who just yes. gave birth. It's my grandson. Okay. She just gave birth in our midst, you know, yes. Elvis. And one of my directors okay. wrote her a check of 50,000 naira. Yes. And she came and told me so I could say thank you to him. Okay. I did. And I immediately turned and said to her, that 50,000 for my grandson. Hmm. Go and it's invest in him. Yes. And guess what? He's only a baby. So 50,000 after 25 years, if he's getting 11.3%, yes. it'll be 810,000 Naira. Say that again. 810,000 Naira. 50, Just no more. Just that 50,000. Not adding any other thing to it. Don't say again for him. Wow. And I said to her, because that money didn't come from you. You are his mom, but I'm his grandma. Yes. And I'm his grandma looking over his investments. Wow. So well, all I need to ensure is that his rate does not go lower than 11.3 and it is mm. compounding every, every quarter. Wow. Wow. He will wow. have 810. Now, before you say Jack Robinson, if you add any more to that, he will have a million naira waiting for him when he's age 25. Wow. And at his wedding, you turn it over to him. Like I'm saying, yeah, what you're saying, 50,000 naira, has to bring about a lifestyle change for so many people. Can you imagine if you say 5,000 naira? Yes. Every, every month. Every month. And I can help you. That movie. Ah. You know, when. That's what I'm saying. So, all those, there are some things that we can do away with. 
So those little things that we look at as little expenses. I'm speaking to you from experience. Wow. Mm. When I decided, you know, I was a treasurer and by my signature, brilliance will move from the bank. But I wasn't managing my own money. Mm. Mm. And then one day I said to myself, this doesn't make sense. So I went through, so part of what you must do is put budget and document your expenses and see where your money is going. It helps. So some of these financial challenges that many of us claim to have, truly and honestly, if we plan our lives better, we won't have many of these challenges. I mean, that's why we're saying that it takes, build your war chest. It takes because sacrifice. Because it's going to hmm. Everybody wants to be a millionaire. Yes. Yes. Are you willing to sacrifice to make to save that million? If the answer is yes, you will have a watchers. And now, oh, I, I'm looking forward to this. Yes. You see, when you have a watchers, is to take advantage of opportunities when they come. Okay. If you don't have the money to take advantage, no matter how fantastic that business or that opportunity, opportunity is, hmm. it will pass you by. But when you have your watchers, you are ready. So your watchers is not only in times of trouble yes but you do need it in times of trouble yes. and in this day and age with the challenges in our economy if you are working and you are in a salary job yes you must save have what is called an emergency savings fund mm. in case of job loss mm. 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 and that's about three to six months of your take-home pay so that yes. within that time you can find another job and not destabilize your family mm. but let me go back to why I say people must prepare and part of that preparation is building your war chest by saving. Don't spend everything. It doesn't matter how much you earn. That's why I've gone from 500 to 5,000 to 50,000. Yes. yes. You can find yourself in between all of those figures. Save something. But you must be prepared. It is when preparedness meets an opportunity mm. that you can exploit that opportunity. Yes. Truly, truly, truly. You know, as you were as you were giving the example of your grandson, you know, I thought about it. You know, there are many people in my generation who the grandparents pay school fees for their children. And I'm just thinking back that when they had these children, I mean if the grandfather is comfortable enough to be paying the school fees, definitely he would have had friends who would have given these children a lot of money when they were born. So imagine if they had put this money away for these children. Now they won't have to be going, running back to granddaddy to pay school fees. Well, you know, we talked about savings being a habit. Yes. If I don't have the habit, I'll squander whatever you give exactly. me. Exactly. That's why even when grandpa... So people ha out there need to learn yes. that starting early is actually very important. Oh, very And it's never too young, never too early. When you have the baby, they give you all those baby monies. <laughs> Put them aside for that child because in a few years' time, what's going to come out of that money can be a lot. That's right. Yes. And even students. So if you're currently a student, yes. second out school, of your allowance, no matter how allowance, small, no matter how small, take yes. that 500 naira yes. and yes. save it. Because you use the 500 naira, you're watching a movie, you pay. 1,500, mm -hmm. you are buying things that you consume. Things so you like that, take, that you can do without. Really. You can take and form a habit from the allowance you're given of putting something aside as savings, even if you're a student. Now, the key which a lot of young people should take advantage of starting early is the key. Yes. Compounding what? So I was talking about the baby. He has 25 years. Yes. So yes. there's enough time for that money to multiply mm. and grow. You yes. don't have that when you're much older, okay. Okay? okay? Because as you get closer to retirement, if you want to save the money, you should have started saving when you started working at age 25. You, you need to be saving a chunk of money. Yes, yes. So sometimes yes. it's too late. And before lifestyle does its tricks on you, mm -hmm. when you're younger, you haven't acquired a lifestyle. Okay. It's very difficult when you've acquired a lifestyle mm -hmm. to then sacrifice. People struggle with letting go okay. of their okay. lifestyle. Okay. Okay. So the younger, the better if you start saving now. Okay, okay, okay. So what I hear you say, you have a savings account. Use that as a short-term building for your funds. 
then when you get up to minimum five thousand, move More. it out. Yes. And lock it into longer term savings, like the savings bond. Yes. So that that one, I mean, you can't reach it. No savings account. You know something can come up. Oh, I already have fifty thousand in this savings account. Let me go and draw it quickly and use it. You know, and there's this thing of okay, I'll pay it back. And many of us never pay it back. <laughs> Okay, it's like nice. yes. savings account. You're only exactly. using your savings account in a bank yes. to accumulate, accumulate your yes. little savings until they reach the minimum investment required. Mm -hmm. So when we talk of the federal government savings bond, yes. it's a bond. Yes. You are locked in there for two or three years. Okay. You can't get the principal out. You can trade it. Yes. But you can trade at a loss. So okay. don't go trading. When you say you can trade it. Because some, some people don't understand okay. what trading is. No, you are okay. up there as a treasurer so, with it. <laughs> so the FGEN savings is a bond. Okay. Um, it's a fixed investment. So you are in it, you're locked in there for two or three years, okay. depending on which one you invest in. Um, but yes, if you decide you want to sell your bond, you go back to um, the fund manager that you bought your fund and give it to them to sell. But remember, when you are selling before maturity, it's not like a time deposit. Okay. Um, this is a So you lose money. You could. Okay, you could. You could. Okay. You could. Okay. So that's that's what that is. So okay. it's not your savings account. Okay. But what I'm recommending is use your savings account to build your little savings until you get to the threshold. Okay. Because the interest rate on your savings account is probably three or five percent. We're mm -hmm. talking about eleven point three. So there is yes. a reason to yes. encourage you yes. to step up yes. to that yes. level. Yes. So it's really a lifestyle of thinking long term. We have to and invest in long term. Yes. Everything long term. You get the right. advantage of compounding when you have the long term on your side but yes. the journey of a thousand miles begins in a day yes so i don't have so i'm near retirement okay and i woke up and said to myself you know your retirement savings is low mm. so you mm. start start today don't get put off so it's never too late it's never too late yes it's never too late please start and okay. start with whatever you have mm. and if you're much younger you must look at the stock market because there are some growth stocks and the returns are better. The market is low now, so okay. if you jump in now and you have twenty odd years to okay. go, okay. you know you look okay. at when to exit. Okay. You know, set some parameters okay. for yourself in terms of an exit price. So if mm -hmm. I'm buying a stock today, and I don't want to mention any because okay. I'm not selling stocks. Okay. Look at the price, set an exit price for yourself. Okay. If it's reached that price, I always say come out, take a breather mm -hmm. before you go back in. Okay. Okay. So, but. It doesn't matter where you are on this continuum. Okay. Please start. Okay. Stuff happens. Okay. Life will throw lemons. Okay. You are working. You could be asked to leave. The economy mm -hmm. is challenging. People wake up one day, they get to the office, and they say we're right sizing. The economy is not working. Especially in today's Nigeria. What do I you mean, do? It's really. You yes. have a family. You have children in school. Mm -hmm. You know, we tend to leave and have our accounts. And everything just comes out of your account. No, begin to separate. Okay. If you are saving for your children's education, take it away from your current account. Don't let, don't be confused. Okay. 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 And I say to people, take it away far away. Mm -hmm. So it's not money you can go to. Plan for your money. Otherwise, other people are planning for that money, how okay. to take it off you. Okay. So okay. when you buy for us ladies, mm -hmm. that designer bag, you know, savings is consumption. <laughs> I refuse to say anything. No, don't say anything. Uh, yes, we are all guilty. Yes, um, it's consumption that you forego. Mm. Mm. So I can be yes. So that designer bag. You, you have the buy. money for that designer bag, or you refuse Just to say buy. to yourself, no, I will use this to start my savings. Okay. I'll put it in. Buy the next one after you've saved up for it again. Mm -hmm. But don't touch that savings. Let the savings grow. Let it have children. Okay. The interest on your savings, mm -hmm. treat it like the children. Okay. And let the children have grandchildren. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And exactly. let it that is compounding, multiplying. You are more God said we should multiply. Mm -hmm. So multiply your financial resources. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then when the opportunities come or when you need it. Mm -hmm. 
There's an emergency. We all have emergencies. Okay. You have it to go to. You're not having to run to people to say, ah, help me, help me. I have to cook two quick questions. Um, should parents say for their children? When I say children, I'm not talking about the infant stage. I have three children now, 25, 23, and my son is going to be 21. Should I still be saving money? Should I still be putting money away for them? Is that not teaching them? What am I teaching them? Teach them to save. Teach them to save? Yes. So okay. my, my daughter just started work. Okay. And I gave her a talk on savings. No longer should I put money away for them. I should actually concentrate on myself now. You should concentrate yes. on your return. Yes. You know, we're living longer, yes. we're living better. Yes. Yes. So ask yourself when you can't work again, and you have another 20, 30 years, we're living that long mm -hmm. after retirement. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be going to those children to say, give me money for food? Not even to these children. Thank Not you. even to these I, children. I'm glad very, we are very, on that one. Oh my God. I looked at my They daughter. love themselves alone. So I said to my daughter, I'm not this children? going to be the grandma that will yes. come and ask you for money exactly. for food. Exactly. No. Exactly. So I'm saving yes. now for my retirement. Yes. I have set a goal. Yes. And that's what I'm doing. Yes. You are working now. Look after yourself. And I've taught you the principles. So I calculated you must save this amount. Mm -hmm. And every month I want to see that amount going into that savings account. Yes. Yes. Because my last question was going to be, what should I be doing? I'm 51 now. Save for your retirement. Save for my retirement. Fashion. So by what chest? Building up yes. in such a way that it's my retirement I'm looking at. Definitely. Because I, I'm not going to be looking at when I'm going to get in 25 years. No. So I think that's one of the quarterly. I will be getting some money to... You haven't retired me. yet at 51. No, I don't have one, but... <laughs> So between 51 and 65, yes. you have enough time. Okay. Okay, that's 14 years. Okay. So I can give you a 15 year target. I'm coming for Based that. Based on what you tell me. I need that. I'm coming for that. Definitely. Your minimum. This is what yes. I need to survive on a monthly basis. Okay. And we'll calculate and you will have a target that you must meet within 15 years. I really need this. And you must, the key, you must be disciplined. This episode is for me first. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry, you my must, but definitely. You must yes. be disciplined. Look, I'll tell you my story mm -hmm. because I don't want to tell, I want you to know that I've been through this. Mm. I was working and I was the treasurer of a big bank. And I woke up one day and realized, and I'm going to, I hope they will show a book, um, The Richest Man in Babylon. The We're going to be in Babylon. You. We're going to be, if you watch the Now Show, by the way, make sure you tag your friends. Thank you are you. going to get, we're going to give Stavose two copies. Wow! But you must show us that you <laughs> saved. Thank it's a savings you. challenge. Wow, savings challenge. If you watch challenge. this edition yes. of the Now Show, yes. you must show proof. Hmm. To Sister Bosse, but okay. as a result of this my, show, yes, yes. between now and December, you must show what you see. Whether it's 500 naira, 1,000 naira, 5,000 naira, 10,000 naira, 50,000, whatever. Amazing. But we want to see that consistency. Yes. So set the amount yourself and bring to her proof mm. that from this day, I have saved every month till December and you'll get a copy of that book. Wow, thank you so much, Atinana. Isn't that amazing? Wow. That's the first on the now show. <laughs> it can only be my Atinana that we do something like this. Oh, <laughs> no. Thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you. Well, at the end of the day, it's about encouraging you to change your lifestyle. Build up your watches. As you've heard me say, I have learned a lot. I'm coming back to Antinana because I need to sit down and plan for this stage of my life because this is the time I want to be taking real good trips and flying the premium cabins, you know, and really, really have a good time and not expect one child to come and feed me. So feed myself. I need to build up my watches, savings. I hope that um, you've been able to take something out of this and at the end of the day, is to encourage you to change your lifestyle so that you can become an overcomer and a winner. Coming from an 
overcomer herself, a super overcomer. Aunt Nana, thank you for coming on the Now Show again. Yeah. Now I want a last word from you for our viewers. My last word is to encourage you. It's doable. It's when I looked at my expenses, I realized that the summer holiday was where I spent a lot of money. And so for two, three straight years, I sent my daughter on holiday on a company because my financial decision should not affect her holiday. She went and accompanied to my sister on holiday and I saved what I otherwise would have spent. That's how I started my emergency savings fund. If I can do it, you can do it. So I encourage you, go for it and build your watches. God bless you. Thank you again, Atidana. God bless you for being on the Now Show. Wow. <laughs> ah, Atidana, on behalf of the Now Show, this is just a keepsake uh, for coming. We know that um, we can't pay you for the time you've spent, but the lives are going to be transforming out there. Surely, will be your payment. Mm -hmm. What God is going to do in you for what you're doing. Just by this, you, you'll be amazed what this 30 minutes or less is going to do in a lot of lives. On behalf of the Now Show, thank you for coming. It's just a keep safe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Atinada. We love you. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> <laughs>